What is going on guys, DBG here. In this video we are going to be doing a gameplay with the Diamond Jamal Murray card. If we get it 100 likes in the first hour on this video, I will do a gameplay with the Diamond Ja Morant before the end of the day. But anyway, yeah, team we're running with is Edge, Jamal Murray, Kobe, Jimmy Butler, Larry Bird and Joel Embiid. At the bench we got Magic Johnson, Dwayne Wade, Kawhi Leonard, Lamar Odom and Anthony Davis. So a pretty good team right here. And now let's get on to the stats. So Jamal Murray, 97-86, which is um, alright, I guess. He's got seven Hall of Fame badges, catch and shoot, uh, slippery off ball, difficult shots, range extender, green machine, flexible release, quick first step. So that's 33 golds, uh, dimer, clamps. He's got bailout, which is actually not the worst badge to have. Stop and go, which is good, tight handles. He has got uh, quick draw, acrobat. Corner Specialist, Tired of Shooter, Floor General, Volume Shooter, so pretty good badges. Also got a good driving layup, really good driving dunk of 85, intensity of 80, 95 three ball, really good mid-range of 92 as well. Really good ball handling, good passing stats, perimeter defense is pretty good as well of 82. He has got good speed speed of ball and acceleration, all of 92 and 90 lower quickness. Again, not gonna be a locked in defender, but because he does have gold clamps, he will be an okay defender. Not going to be, again, absolutely locked down a game-changing player on that end of the floor. But he's not going to get blown by and not going to get destroyed. And to be honest, like, we're looking at some point, guys, in terms of moments, guys. He's probably better than... He's probably better than Westbrook, Trey Young, and Kyrie. I don't know if he's better than Jan Morant. Definitely better than Jalen Brunson. But he could be up there with the better point guys in the game. Because we all know how good his release is as well. But anyway, yeah. That is pretty much it. Now let's get on to the hot zones and release for Jamal Murray. Then we're going to get on to the game. All right, so Jamal Murray is hot zones everywhere except for one spot. And we all know how good Jamal Murray's release is. It is without question one of the best releases in the game in terms of wide open jump shots. Now, if you guys don't remember, I think he was like his 1K MT card. He came out December 23rd, I think. And he was absolutely killing it. Obviously, I'm timing his releases quite badly here. But uh, no, I'm telling you, once he gets a little bit of space... As always, pick and roll. If you get that little bit of space here, snatch back into the three, he is going to green that shot more often than not. But uh, yeah, dunking wise, he's also a bit of an upgrade, plus 10 to his dunk from his ruby. And the big thing is, is that he has now got Hall of Fame quick first step and Hall of Fame range extender, as well as clamps. So those three badges are huge. And clamps probably more than anything because he can now play defense. But if this card is like 25 KMT, he honestly could be ex extremely, extremely good value. But uh, yeah, so you got a card here that can do pretty much everything. Shoots the ball well, goes to the basket well, dunks well, got decent height of 6'4". Plays decent defense. This is overall going to be good. So anyway, now it's scream on three. And now let's get on to the game. Okay, so we're playing Patrick Beverly, who's a tough enough matchup. Kevin Martin, uh, Danny Granger, Marcus Gasol, and Shaq. So not going to be too easy here. But to be honest, do I cheat? I think I might cheat. I might cheat by starting Wade a point guard and putting Jamal Murray at the two. That's exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> Make it a little bit easier. Um, him being guarded by Kevin Martin rather than him being guarded by Patrick Beverly. Because Beverly is locked down. Not going to lie, he is absolutely locked down. Oh, wow, his release is quick. To be fair, though, he does have all of him quick draw. So that's kind of a given that he has a quick release. That's open. And... We tie it up. There we go. Not a great release right there by Jamal Murray, but three points is three points. Why is he still guarding him? The one player I didn't want guarding Jamal Murray is guarding Jamal Murray, and we half bar that one, and we knock it down. We have half barred two three-point shots. Completely sold the releases, but he's hit two for two. Okay, let's see if he guards the roll, or what does he guard? Not him beat, anyway. And we green that shot. Now, what are you doing with Shaq all the way down there? Because he was, obviously he was playing. He's decided to leave. To be fair though, he did give up a long two, which was the best possible thing that could happen to, for him in that situation. So, give credit where credit's due. He ended up, he, I don't think he meant to give me that specific shot, but he ended up giving me probably the worst quality look I could have had. Oh, snatch back. Decent release. Can't hit it. All right, to be fair, if we hadn't hit two, I might be a little bit annoyed if we hadn't have hit two half bars to start this game. Hitting those shots, uh, I can't really complain for the rest of this game if any shot doesn't go in. But, uh, alright, these guys tie it up. Uh, look, I'm playing badly. 
And the fact is, is that I'm tied. So, could be so much worse. Jamal Murray with a, not even a good move, just a simple behind the back. Goes right to the basket there. We go, let's push. See, did they pick him up early? They don't. And we go and green to three there with Jamal Murray. There you go. He started off well right here. And, you know what? I'm going to go into it. He's got such a slow team out that I'm going into the press. That's off. Easy board. Let's push. Let's hit Murray. Wait. Three. Jamal Murray greens another one. Let's go. Okay, he's now going to take over. A minute to go in the quarter. Um, okay, that's Jokic. Good job there by Bird. Thought that would have been our board. That definitely should be our board. To a wide open Jamal Murray in the corner. Green. Let's go. 20 points right here. Or 20 points here. And one assist. And we still have a, f a little bit to go in this quarter. And make that 23 points. Okay, Jamal Murray, while I shot a couple of, couple of half hours to start off the quarter, is now showing how good that release is by greening everything he takes. Good steal to Jamal Murray. And they're going to expect me to shoot the three, so I'm just going to go down and get the dunk. Uh, he's obviously not going to score 100 points, but he's on track right now to score 100. And we now have a 15-point lead and make that 28 points in a quarter. And lead is now up to 18. That's off, Shirley. Let's go. For a two. It's green, but it's only a two. I was hoping that that was going to be a three. And that is... Surprised this guy hasn't rage quit yet, to be honest. He's conceded 32 points, and 30 of which um, have been scored by Jamal Murray. Make that 33. And 35 for the quarter. Uh, this, this has been a one-sided game so far. We have a 23-point lead at the end of the first. Jamal Murray had 33 points. 33 and a quarter. And yeah, that is it. So I'm going to go and play a game of Triple Trap. Because, to be honest, he's shown what he can show. And playing this quick game means that I can go and watch the Leeds match. And hopefully Leeds don't implode. But let's be real, Leeds have already... Everyone's talking about Leeds, that they're going to fall apart. Leeds have already fallen apart. So, they can't, it can't go any worse than they're going now. So, you know what? We make the playoffs, it's all good. And T-Mac. Yeah, I'm good with that. Obviously, you need to put a contract on him. And, yeah, we're grand. Okay, so we're playing Ray Allen, Kawhi, and Shaq. So, he's been matched up to Ray Allen, who's pretty good. So, this isn't going to be easy here. Oh, lads. White on white. White away kit. Not ideal. At least we've got a bit of red in our kit, so I can see the difference. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't, like, I... I don't understand colored home kits and white away kits. Whatever about colored home kits, white away kits are going to clash 95% of the time. That is good there by Jamal Murray for three, though. Let's go. Okay, take the leaner. That's a good shot. And I sold on that one. Should have got a better release there. So it was actually a pretty good shot. And we're out of position. And they kicked Kawhi. Who half bars in a three. Great. No idea for me. That's open. And that's green. There we go. Right back to two. Good defense, Malone. Let's go. That's it, Murray. Okay, okay, shoot that. And Jamal Murray greens another three. We go. We managed to take the lead just from Jamal Murray shooting threes. To be fair, that is exactly how we took the lead in the game unlimited. And that's open. That's a sell. Oh, man. He's he's out here hitting whites. Kick to Carl Malone. Kick to Carl Malone. Kick to Carl Malone. Remember, lads, I can't pass. Uh, if you don't icon pass, it's going to be to the wrong player more often than not. And we got the ball stripped by Shaq as we were trying to go for a layup. Um, just no threes. Steal. Okay, take the dunk. Okay, tie game. Let's go. We need four scores. 
four scores and two stops and we're good and that's as bad a half bar as possible it's literally an early floater good oh okay that almost a good shot by murray and he makes the layup though let's try and shoot a mid-range but you know what that's grand so we've got one stop one score let's go one more stop and we're good we're stopping we should win this game okay green big shot right there by jamal murray and we are just greening everything right here i don't know how he got open there but not a chance there we go if this guy can't green a shot he's gonna have to start missing eventually how he's gonna jump on that and we got stripped we got stripped by an off ball in Kawhi. Like, i don't mind necessarily if you're just stopped by an off balling player i hate it when off balling player strips you because you're like if I press, if he pressed square, like he physically did it, but if the CPU almost times it perfectly every time. But we're good. We are now in control. It's not, not even to do with stops right now. It's just as few threes as possible. And they go and hit another white. Okay, so we actually do need a score right here because they can go and hit three and then take control of the game. Ball up. Oh, wow. What was that? I was going to be a jumper. I don't even mind if he takes a two, to be honest. It's a guaranteed two points here. Just don't kick to a three. I'll give him that. I'll give him that. We're good. To be fair, considering I've been green and everything, I don't even mind if I end up having to take a three here. I'll pull up. Good shot. Sell. Oh, we missed the board as well. Oh man, how do we miss? Whatever, missing the shot. How do we miss the board? Let's steal. Let's go. On the move. Not a good release. Oh, we missed the white again. Oh, as we steal. You are kidding me, lads. You are kidding me. We really lost that one. But look, you know what? It is what it is. So anyway, that is the video. Not gonna lie, Jamal Murray is probably the most underrated guard in this game. Like, as far as point guards go, he is so underrated. Like, I'm gonna see what price he is on PS4, but honestly, if he's even close to the price of Terrence Davis, he's 100% gonna hit my starting point guard for no money spent. Let's be real, I really, really like this guard. Anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.